Hello everyone, now, this is a tutorial on how to easily rotate a video that for some reason or another recorded sideways. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe below and let's get started. First I'll show you an example. I just opened up Shotcut and I will name my new project Video Rotate and Scale. Now I'll drag and drop the video into place. As you can see, it's sideways. It's in the wrong orientation. You would think that you could just go to filters and rotate the video, but I'll show you what happens when you rotate the video 90 degrees once it's already dropped in. So now you are left with the left and the right sides of the video cut off along with a lot of black empty space on the top and bottom. The canvas stays the same size as the original when it was originally dropped in. Even when you scale the video, it really just zooms in and out, keeping all that black space. So now I'll show you what we can do about this. I'll make a new project. And I use paint.net for this, but you can also use standard paint that comes with most computers. So when I open up paint.net, I'll make a new template and I'm going to make it in full HD size. The first thing to pop up when you click new is what size you would like the canvas to be. You want to make sure that maintain aspect ratio is not clicked. Under pixel size, you'll change the width to 1920 and the height to 1080. Then click OK. Now you have a blank canvas that is 1920 by 1080. Save this file wherever it is easily accessible on your computer. And then click OK. Then OK again. Now navigate back to Shotcut. and drag in the canvas you just made and drag it down into the timeline as well. Now drag the video in that needs to be rotated. And as you can see, the canvas stayed the same size as the original blank canvas Go to add filter and use the rotate and scale. You want to rotate the video 90 degrees. Now the video is in the correct orientation and the black is all around the video. Now we need to scale the video to match the canvas. We can do this quickly with the slide bar. and then we can fine tune with the numbers on the side. Then slowly scale up until the whole canvas is filled. We're gonna do 170, 175, 176, 177. You can see there's just a little bit more, so 178. And there we go, the canvas is filled with no void on the edges. Now that we have the video the way we want it, we can drag it into the timeline. Be sure to overwrite the white blank canvas that we dragged in there before. And there we go. Now you can save your project and export it if you just want to keep the original. Or you can continue to edit it. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope this helped. If it did, please like and subscribe below and hit that notification button. Take care everyone.